the boards of the truss each have a cross-sectional area of 1.25 inch width. If the maximum average normal stress in any bar is not to exceed 20 KSI, determine the maximum magnitude P of the loads that can be applied to the thrust. Okay, so here is my free body diagram for it. So I have a 0 0.5 P force here, P, P force here, and D. So at this one, you have a X and Y component force, and same thing over here, right? So this is a very simple question. So let's see what are we going to do to solve it. Since I said it's a simple question, it doesn't mean that you ignore it. Okay. So let's see. So you need to f you ask to find the maximum force P. And let's see. Is there any way we can find it quickly? Mm. So uh, let's see. So here's what I did. So first of all, let's find uh, the force. Remember, uh, let's find the vertical force E Y first, and then I'll explain later why I did that. Okay. So take the take the moment about D. Okay. So that gives me. So distance from here to here is 4 feet so 4 feet times 12 is 48 so I have 48 P plus 0 0.5 times 96 inch just times P times E negative uh, minus 36 times EY because the distance from D to E is 3 feet which is uh, 36 inches and set that equal 0 then you solve for EY that gives you A over 3 P now the allowable st stress in each rod is in each stress is not allowed to exceed 20 ksi okay so allow normal stress is equal to the normal force divided by the area normal force ey is equal to a over 3p divided by the area in every stress has the same area of 1.25 in square so i got 20000 pounds per inch square Okay, and then from this e equation, I can solve for P, which is 9,375 pounds. Okay, so that is the maximum force you can apply to the thrust in order to get the number of stress in each thrust not to exceed 20 KSI. So you can find that using this member, this member, this member, any of the members here because they have same diameter and the same area and the same um not the same uh, yeah, the same area so I would say the same area okay so the easiest um, one is to divide the normal stress in this member because because you have only the if you take a look at the general free body diagram, ignore this member. So assume this is a rigid body. Okay, so you have this for this external force, external force, external force, uh, ex internal forces at uh, these pin joints. Okay, so then you can find the normal stress in this one, and it says uh, normal stress in each ball is not to exceed 20 ksi. So you can use that information to find the maximum force. You can do it for this one, this one, this one, this one, this one as well. But for either one of those, except uh, this member, you have to find the normal force. And it's not easy to find normal force in the other members, okay? So that's why I pick uh, the normal force in member CE, because it's the, it's easy, it's the easiest main force to find. So to, cons to help us figure out the maximum force P, okay? So I hope that makes sense. That's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.